Pantone 3s. Boom. Pantone 15s. Looks like they're dead stock. This is a sneaker that's probably worth a house, bro. To be on the back. These things are dead stock. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they did better. So as you guys can see right here, they got four different pairs. Welcome back to the third episode. If you guys haven't seen the first two, make sure you guys go check those out after this one. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. So let's go ahead and get into it because obviously we've gone through a lot of stuff on this side of the room, but we still got a lot to go through over here. So I'm gonna grab a couple boxes up top and see what we got. We got the Just Dons, looks like it. Yep, the blue Just Dons right here. Classic shoe, this blue on these things pops i love this sticker bro i still don't have these in my collection yet but i would like to add these to the collection for sure i think i would say you know you got a lot of oh bro i was just about to say there's so much hype on the jordan twos now this is one of my favorite jordan twos right here Damn. of all time we got the eminem air jordan 2 these things look like yes they are dead stock i vividly remember when these ah when these yes, came so out bro Tone. like this is so crazy i remember when these dropped this this right here these deserve their own video eminem twos wow 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 starting off with a banger this is this is wild bro oh ray allen what size is that i could fit these 14 i'll make it work Jeez, sugar ray twos right here black with the green sugar ray on the back these things are fire looks like they got all the twos ready Ready to go for the people. I'm assuming that's the Red October. We got more Yeezys right there. Got the tan Yeezy one. Looking clean. This box is tore up, but I did see these earlier. Platinum Yeezy two. Dead stock, size 12. Anybody who's asking. I'll try to, this is the Yeezy one in the gray colorway. I already saw these earlier. And this is the other colorway in the gray. I don't wanna mess that box up. It's just a lot going on. This right here is a very special one. So very, very rare sneaker right here. Look at this box. Super crazy, super crazy. Bag, jump man on there. Can you guys guess what's inside? Can you guess, can you guess, can you guess? They'll never guess. Trevor Edwards ones, bread but a whole different vibe when it comes to the leathers, the materials, the rarity. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's only 23 pairs made of these. Um, they also have some blue ones in the Royal version. So another banger, let's see, is this the price? No, I think this is the price on something else. I don't know what the sticky note is on this one. Definitely a wild shoe. So over here, we have a lot of off-white stuff, so it's gonna be pretty easy for me to show you guys. UNC off-whites. Um, every Jordan 1 box that you kind of see right here with these black tags especially, gonna be the UNC off-whites. Now these are all going to be Chicago off-white ones. Bam, looking so clean, dead stock. What size is this? 13, I already have them, but it's still a 13, so I might have to try to go after him. You know what I'm saying? You know me. <laughs> Do you still have a 12 or did you get a 13? Uh, I still got the 12 because the reason why I kept the 12 is because I was like, I'm never going to wear the shoe. Yep. And the 12 is worth more. Yep. So I was like, I'll just keep the 12. <laughs> so, Legend of Summer 3s. We talked about the 1s and the 2s earlier. These are the 3s that I was referencing. It's got the hang tag on here. The shoe is just insane, bro. Steamer. White sock liner. Just the suede, the stingrays, all you name it, the patent leathers, the red, look at the red shiny spit, the paint around the toe on the rubber. Sheesh. This is a grail sneaker. I don't know about y'all, but it's definitely a grail sneaker in my opinion. Soulfly, we've already seen those. Lots of grails in here, man. There was another one that I saw earlier. Oh, here we go. You guys saw the UNCs, you saw the Chicago's. Got the white pair. This was my least favorite of the three. Still don't have these in my collection, but now at this point, I feel like I need to get them in my collection just because I have the other ones, um, but I'm still not in a major rush. Ooh, here we go. Derek Anderson, Katrina threes. I think these are size 13, because these are the same size as me. Yep, size 13. <sighs> 
They had a little beat, you know, they got the little yellow in it, the paint cracking and everything. This shoe is very old, early 2000s. Like, the leather on these though, insane, for sure, insane. You're gonna hear me say that often when it comes to different sneakers like this. All right, let's uh, get some of this stuff put back up here and then go to the next rack over here. Oh, we got, my bad y'all, I forgot. <laughs> we got the glitter. I think I should pull these out. They wanna see these, right? For sure. Another Legend of the Summer Air Jordan 1 glitter version. So we saw the other version. This is the other version. I think there's four different versions. I can't remember, I think it's four. Um, but yeah, these things, whew. These are like the Wizard of Oz shoes right here. Oh yeah. These things are crazy. Got those, another off-white. I think there's another Legend of Summer in here. Oh, okay, here's another one. The suede one. Is this the one they saw earlier in the first video? Uh, yeah. Okay, so they saw this one. So they got two pairs of those. Nice, nice. Um, what else? Spike Lee Air Jordan 1. So it looks like a Royal, but it's like in a Navy version. And it's got Spike Lee on the back. And it says 1-3. So does that mean there's three pairs? Guess we'll find out. Sheesh! These things are wild, bro. We got a lot of crazy stuff in here. We'll put this Jordan 1 box over here. So, another one. Another one. <laughs> uh, here we go. Band 1s with the X on the back. Everybody loves those, but I know those are nowhere near priced like these other ones. Let me see what else we got. Legend of Summer. Another Legend of Summer. Bro, they got oh, like... Five pairs? What the... It's all like the same one too. That's what's crazy. You got off-white. So these are off-whites. These are different. Let's see. I'll just grab one from here and see what it is. Oh, here we go. There's a ton of those here. They got a bunch of these too? Yeah, I think like 10 pairs. Okay. You got the quads. Friends and family. Yeah. Red on one side, black on the other with the suede, and then blue on the opposite side, black on the other side. Are these hitting now? I don't know. They might be. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like they might hit. They might hit. Actually, let me grab one more. I saw that. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, these ones, <laughs> these are ultra rare. <laughs> well, I wish these had the Nike Air on them, but it's okay. They got the Jumpmans on the tongues. We got the Dave Whites. Super exclusive gold vibes on the front end. Man, I remember, it, bro, I had the black pair, and the dude tried to clean my shoes at the mall, and I was like, man, whatever, just do it. He put the stuff on there. You know, it's got the suede on the toe cap. Oh my God. Bro, it turned my shoes green. I was pissed. So I need to get the black Dave Whites back. Bro. This is another one. Bro, they have like five or six pairs of this same one. What is going on? Little F and F vibe. All flies with the orange on them. I think these were very, very uh, overrated and overpriced in my opinion. So I didn't really go after these when they dropped. Still nice shoe, don't get me wrong. I love patent leather sneakers, but just based on the price, this is this is a second pair of the same shoe right there. To me, yeah, for the price, I just can't do it, bruh. Okay, here we go. These ones got the chrome toe on them. Legend of Summer, Jordan 1, black leather, chrome swoosh. Translucent outsole, red metallic midsole, black with the red leather on the back on the heel. Super clean, super clean. Let's see if there's an, oh, and this is the last one of the set that I need to show you guys. This is a 3M version. I have, I have bad memories when it comes to this shoe because I could have got these for $1,000 and now they're like 15,000. I messed up, I messed up. It's okay though, it's okay, you know? Can't win them all, can't win them all. That's a 3M reflective material on the upper as well, just so you go. They got two pair! Bruh. Oh my gosh. The, that, Tons of those. That, that whole that, stack is So those. this is also, oh, we got a, we saw these ones too. So, you know, Portland native. I still don't have these yet. Perfect pair of ones. Premium white leather. Perfect pair on the bottom. And I think they have the black pair as well. Gotta try to find them real quick. This another pair, white pair. <laughs> this is the black pair right here. So, black pair, premium leather, super soft. Super, super soft. Looks like a plain Jane shoe, but it's also worth like 1500 bucks. Crazy, right? 
These are actually really limited. I think there's only a couple hundred pairs that were made. Maybe like 250, maybe 300 pairs. Maybe less, honestly, if I knew. Um, we saw some, oh, this is size 13. Uh, now y'all know, I don't have these yet. I've been slacking and I keep waiting and the price just keeps going up. Deadstock size 13, fragment one. This is not the friends and family version. It's got the blue bolt on the back, but that is still completely fine. This is a fire shoe. Super, super dope. Had opportunities to get this shoe for really good deals that's not my size. So I think at this point, I'm gonna just have to take the deal and then try to work some trades. Looks like there's two of them right yeah, there. Yeah, Blitz got two pairs in the size. They got other pairs right here, 11s, 10s. These are all fragment ones right here. Um, What we got right here? Let's open this box up. UNC threes, huh, huh? And this is not the GR people, this is the UNC PE. So this is like a, you know, three, $4,000 shoe. Will Smith, oh, Will Smith. Does that mean the shoe went up or down in value? <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, <sighs> family and friends. What did they do, 23 pairs of these as well? I think, I think they so. did 23 pairs of these. Uh, this is a size 12. I'm like indifferent about this shoe. I think just based off the value, like I would like to have it, but you can't wear it because of the satin. So it's just for me, it's, just, you know, I don't know. I don't know exactly how I feel about them. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Another Oregon three in a Kobe box. Okay. Uh, what we got over here? We the best. We the best. DJ Khaled. Blue suede joints. I actually reviewed these a long time ago um, here at Blitz. If you guys want to look deep back into the channel, you'll find a pair. Look at a little itty bitty pair. Meep, meep. <laughs> Put these to the side. Let's get this stacked up. So, oh, right here. Like I said earlier, you guys saw the PlayStation in the second episode. Here's the box. This is the box. So, obviously, we already saw it. So, if you want to reference back to that, um, I'm going to have to stick this right here. You have to come around. Uh, reference back to the second episode to see the PlayStation. What's happening? Oh, come on in, bro. We've been waiting for you. What's up, bro? You How said you going to come back. I feel like we've seen you in a couple good. episodes. Yeah, yeah. What up? <laughs> all right, so we didn't cover yeah. all that stuff, and you're the master of the Kobe's and the SB's, especially. Uh -huh. and I feel like it was only right that you do this part of the episode. So we're going to run through a couple of these sneakers right here, and then this is going to be like the grand finale of the show. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm gonna just keep running through some stuff. I'll let you kind of tag along and uh, see what we got another Bibby PE. As you guys saw earlier, there's a bunch of different colorways. We got the black, with the purple. Tell them just the, the nostalgia behind the Bibby, Chris Paul, Ray Allen, like that era of PEs and how it's impactful on the game. I mean, that's just like the, the, the best, the best, you, know, you yeah. know so well. I mean, obviously the big thing about it was the fact that all of these sneakers that the players were wearing were in colors that wasn't releasing at your local Foot Locker, mm -hmm. Mom and Pop, or even, you know, Boutique or, or whatnot at that time. But all of a sudden, the players all of a sudden had white and purple, right. which is like one of my favorite colors too. That's so, my color, bro. Right? <laughs> so if you, they were like green or orange or purple, which you don't see yep. too often, I was I was ready to, you know, to, to jump on them. And the cool thing about Bibby's was that he was like normally a 12. Yeah. So a lot of people that were 11, 11 yeah. and a half, 12. They make it work. Yeah. I made it work. I got a lot of BBs. I'm like, bro, oh, stuff my feet in there. Yeah, the BB 17, the BB 17. I mean, I'm a 10 and a half and I'll tell you, like I put on some, <laughs> you know, that, that, that fit a little bit yeah. smaller, but you know, it, that's, that was the cool thing about it. Yeah. But, uh, Definitely. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. And this uh, falls in that kind of same era, right? You got, we showed a lot of, uh, different air force ones in the second episode, but yeah. This right here, another classic. Look at the leather. The Don Cartagena. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, so basically Fat Joe, Terror Squad. This is my favorite one of mm -hmm. all of them. Definitely. It's the pink, right? You know, he made he made it famous by licking the, was it the linens? Yep, yep. The linen with the pink swoosh, and uh, that was like a big New York banger that was like on sale in Japan, and um, you know, all of a sudden it was a hit in New York because of the pink uh, swoosh and the khaki upper. So, you know, Fat Joe came out and and uh, hey, I told I told the Fat Terror Joe, Squad pink pinks to the world. Hey, we need to get in hold of Fat Joe and tell him to let me come out to his crib and show the collection because I think it's time. I think it's time we go out there to see the whole collection. I'm ready to 
check it all out. So we coming for you, fat. Crack! We out here. <laughs> yeah, you know, we had the terror squads and all mm -hmm. that. And we're and you know talking about Kobe Air Force One. This is the craziest one ever. The denim. Yeah. The denim Kobe's. I love these so much. You know these are, you've seen them right. many times like coming in here, but especially being in LA. These are incredible. Right. Because they uh what year was this? 2004? Am I right? Yes, 2004. So what made the frayed denim was the Dunk SB. Mm -hmm. The denim with the frayed denim. And then they did this Air Force One with a similar type look mm -hmm. with the Kobe logo. It was crazy. Good times. Crazy. Good times. So speaking of Kobe's, we got a bunch of Kobe's right here. Mm -hmm. Just pick out a couple. And as you're talking, I'll kind of open a couple more as well as we go. Just so everybody can get a glimpse of stuff. See what you like and everything like that. I'll let you kind of just rattle off some stuff. Weren't they doing these on Nike ID? Oh, not that They were doing one. this model, weren't they? I feel no, like sir, they were. Not these. Those, not are, the, those, are, those are hot. Yeah. Like these are, the, the ones that came out, these are like the ones that never released anywhere else. Those are fire. With the gun bottle? Right. So these are the Kobe 9. Uh, Talk about, these. you know, just getting the Kobe's only, in LA and just the whole. Well, you, know. you couldn't get these in LA. These were only, I flew to Italy to get. Sheesh. to get uh Because they only released in, in Italy during design week. Damn. So not even fashion week, but design week. So that's where, you know, these all came out. That's crazy. So you was like, shoes is coming out. I got to fly yeah. to Italy. I got to pick these up. These are fire. So th those are the two Barcelona yep. Kobe's. So not not a lot of people know that that's also Barcelona. The main. So you got you got these out there? No, no, no. Okay. I you know we we bought them, but the people in Spain that have in Europe had these two. Got you. Right. So you gotta be so those are, those are based off the jersey so i think that's another thing people need to know when you're in the shoes and you really want to get like all the crazy stuff you got to be connected worldwide like you got to have either the ability to go or hit up people and be like yo i need these shoes what's good can i bring out some nostalgia come on let's do it you're gonna know what these are i don't know let me see i think it's gonna bring you close to home okay right what we got you guys know where he's from too right yeah so. oh <laughs> Still got these. Okay, so this is from Sunset High School, which is like in the Beaverton area, right by the Nike headquarters. One of the kids' dads worked at Nike and his son played on the team, so he decided to make some shoes for his kids and the whole baseball team got Sunset Air Jordan 4s. And the next thing you know, people ended up picking up the shoes and they took the midsole, the, the cleated bottom off and put the actual white midsoles on there from like Pure Money 3s, yeah. different stuff like that, or Pure Money 4s. And then they turned them into sneakers and this right here, yes, this is something that I need to have in my collection one day. I don't know how I'm going to get them. I don't even know. Have you even seen a 13 before? It's hard to find. It's, it's hard like I never see a 13. Speaking of that, <laughs> I got a hit list for you. I done yeah. found a couple kicks in a size 13 up in here. Uh-huh. <laughs> what else we got over here for some Kobe's? Oh, for my people that love cleats, Earl Thomas. Air Jordan 7s. Sponsored by Jordan Brand, Seattle Seahawks. What else you got? What is this? Joe Hayden? Oh yeah. Joe Hayden. Cleveland Browns. Uncle Joe. <laughs> Jaguars. These uh, are so the, fire what's though. What's the dude's name? Uh, what Tell me these are on fire. Those are fire, for sure. I remember when that happened. So for those people that don't know, as you see, these are Jordan 9s, these are Jordan 7s. Uh, Jordan Brand does special player exclusives each year and they decide a different model. So last year was the Jordan 5. Remember they mm -hmm. did a bunch of different low top mm -hmm. Jordan 5s the year before mm -hmm. that. They had the Jordan 11s and they, they always do a different model each year. And then when they do the player exclusive versions, they put a different bottom on there and they give the um, the PEs to the players that are their team colors, like we just talked about with the BBs, right? They do the same thing on the football field. So for those that are always wondering why do people like to collect cleats and stuff, it's a lot of different reasons behind that. So over here, we got a bunch of Nike boxes, bro. And you are the SB God. You know what I'm saying? I was on my SB tip, don't get me wrong, but I'll, I'll give you your crown for a little bit. You know, I'll let you have it yeah. for a little bit. <laughs> well, you know, just like right out the box. What's up? You got a 13? What's up? I'm still looking for those. Yeah, we had 13s before, but this is it. Damn. Believe it or not, we had a lot of these. Oh, I know. Yeah, like, I remember. Lot. Yeah, it's crazy the prices. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, these are one of the things that, you know, when we had them, they were going for like, um, what? 400 500 yep. bucks yep now there's thousands yep but yeah so it's these amazing, are all right? supreme 
forces or uh, SBs right here? So the red colorway? Yeah, these are all the red ones. Okay, so you got about 10 pair left, eight pair left. Yeah, there's not many places you're gonna find those. We just saw Travis Scott wearing these. Yeah, where do you think they came from? Oh, I know. For real. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, these are great, right? What size are these? But these are a 13. That's a 13. Yeah, these ones, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I like these ones more than I like these. Don't get me wrong, these are nice hard. shoe, nice shoe. Green's my favorite color, so but I'm just like, like when it comes to pricing, Trav actually, I would definitely put my money into something else. Trav actually bought my per own personal, personal collection. Oh, y'all wear the same size? Yeah. That's nice. How cute. <laughs> all right, what yeah. else we got? Supreme Blazers. Are these Supreme all blazers. the same ones? Or don't, sleep, don't sleep on Blazers. I, so, Honestly, all right, look, like, look. Hold on. You can nice. find them in the store right They're now. They're nice. I Big get swoosh it. Blazers right now. But I just don't like Blazers, bro. Size 13. I don't care how off-white, Supreme, you name it. I just, I'm not a fan. I respect it. These I, are hard. I respect it. Trust me, I do. These are one of the best blazers that ever came out. Definitely. The red ones, I, I know. I Trust me, I know. But at the same time, I just can't do it, man. I'm sorry. Unfortunate. Seriously, unfortunate it is. What else we got up in here? So these are heavy Supreme blazers. Now those are fire. See, I like those. Yeah, Supreme highs. I like those. Yeah, those so this is, you know, these came out after they did the lows. Yep in the three colors and it was kind of like taking the og college colors right like so north carolina syracuse yeah st john's it's, it's easy to have success the, with a collab yeah and then throwing down the gold on it and yep. everything this is like the simple thing and the croc mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. and it was fire it's something you know wasn't ever replicated again and now they're just going up yeah and then they did the day lows they did the lows like these uh you know i don't really care for the colors too much the the new ones the yeah brown, the green the, the green blue. was my favorite one uh, I, it, everybody liked the green everybody liked the green i think i was like blue i think they should have done purple purple would have been fire you know purple that green was cool fire. okay tell them about what else we got oh okay we'll put we're those going, ones up we're going we're going uh way back we're down. kicking so it old is, school now bro so even I'm though the SB is already limited, this was the this was like a very limited one. So, you know they they said Nike SB, but if right. you look on the box, and the SB started what 2003? Well, what year was that? Well, read the box. What year was that? No, read the box. What part? Nike oh, Dunk S. SP. <laughs> SP. So this. So these were these were the, the collabs. So they were SP was special project. Right. Because look at the tongue. So instead of Nike Same Dunk thing. SB. Just no. Nike. There's no SB on it. No, no, no. They all they all were like that back in the day. That's what I'm saying. Like before this. No, but the now, S, the SP the SP happened because these were by two different skate brands. Mm -hmm. So this was Chocolate Skateboards, mm -hmm. and this was Zoo York. Yep. And these these, these are the first ones that were like the limited limited of the already limited shoes. Right. Yeah. No, we got multiple. <laughs> Some light. Some real light. We got all these multiple. I see a 13 right here. Let me see. I know what it yeah, is the, right there. You know me. I'm always looking for Take a look. You know what that is. Trying to see what the 13s is. Careful with that one. That was delicate. I'll let you do it. Ooh. This was my favorite of the of the SBs when they first came out. Ooh. The unfortunate thing is this is the, it's a casualty, is the, the orange leather. Uh-huh. On all of these, they basically melted. Because these are 20 years old now. You know how crazy that is? Bruh. 20 years old it's crazy like not seeing the sb branding on the tongue too like but these and, were and so you just fire no it's like an sb no when those my, are fire my, i asked all my friends because we had a lot of pairs and i was mm -hmm. like hey do you want to buy any before we start selling them mm -hmm. and they weren't picking this one like oh no the color's too crazy and then also the price went up on these yeah and then they were like oh man you still have those I was like hey dude you had your ah. chance <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah, these are my favorite ones. I, I was sure. I was wearing them like crazy, and now my own personal pairs. It's like the, the leather orange is, is gone. Damn, that's unfortunately. Wild. So, all right, let's take it to some more shoes. We got a fire, lot of Danny Supas. And these ain't no Grateful Dead's. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying. Uh, we got a couple more silver boxes. Medicom, Travis Scott. I'm sure everybody knows about these ones. Special box. Do these have a skate deck with them? No. Or is it just a, I don't know. <clears throat> it's just a special box. And then you got the regular. So because of the box difference on the shoe, say for example, let's say the shoe is a $2,000 shoe, mm -hmm. but it has this type of box with it. Would it be a $2,500 shoe just because of the box? 
I mean, some of these have gone up, so like, you know, they'll fetch like 500 to even a thousand more. Just extra because <laughs> of the box. <laughs> yes, sir. Same shoe, different box. Same shoe, different box. Oh, uh, yeah, we can stay away from the Blazers. We good on that stuff. Oh, show them these real quick. I like these ones. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna bust these out oh, real yep. quick because this is the one we were talking yep, about. Yep, yep, yep. With the Kobe's, was the denims. Good time. So check those out. Yeah. So you got the Air Force One and the Dunk. So they yeah. kind of flipped it and they did it with the orange, what they did with the red. And then you had, how many pairs of SBs did you have in the skate ramp, uh, skate ramp at Complex Con? I don't, can't remember exactly how many, but uh, it was like you know, 700 or something. Like it was like. No, it was a million dollars worth of uh, yeah, dunks at that time. Crazy. The crazy thing is all the values went up because we were the ones that, that started that yep. whole thing right there. And then the next year, the Canaries. Then we get into Mustard yeah, and, yeah, was, this, this. and Rocky and then Tra and Travis. You're right. And then boom, all of the prices started going up. And this is because that was 2017. And y'all remember 2017, people wasn't really rocking heavy with the SBs no, they like were that. Not. Like that was the. Exactly. The beginning of the new curve of the uprise. Classic. Oh yeah. Classic. <clears throat> Take that retro. A, this is actually a sample. That's why it's in that bag. Oh dope. But this is the De La Soul, the first sample. Uh, See the faces in there? When the they release these. Super. So that's crazy. the three feet high and rising uh, album cover. Yep. For De La Soul. Ooh. Go ahead, crack these open for them. I won't put these ones away. Got you on these. I'll put this one yep, I got there. you. So Talk this is a fresh pair. So the whole reason you have a pink and black Nike box is because of these right here. The Futura design. The Grails. <laughs> Futura Dunk High. Bro, uncles. those are so hard. Oh, those are so hard. Right? Damn. Those so these have these, these all had Futura Designs Uncle character. That was made for like uh, Moax Records. Used them. Yeah, amazing. Just like the artwork, everything. This shoe everyone went crazy for. And it was a GR. They made a ton of them. So it was, uh, it was how definitely, much they worth definitely now? a cool point. How much they worth now? I mean, they're like, I dep I depending on small. the size, like 2,500 to 3,500. So. I Especially when the pink is so pink like that. Yep. I remember trying to get those. Cause they fade. And it was like, oh, these are dope. Okay, I haven't seen these before. Talk to me about these. Put me on game. Oh, these are the Medicom. Okay. So Medicom that makes the bear bricks. Yeah. So this is what what uh, collab was this? Was this the very first one? No. These are the. I they did a different one. Was this like a friends and family thing? <clears throat> yeah, these are the Medicom fours. Really? These are the Medicom fives. So use each one of those, that, whatever it is, to double check because I can't remember right now. Um, and uh, see how they have like this cool 3M upper. So the first one we have them over here somewhere. It's like Nick's color, so it's yeah. white, blue, and orange. Mm -hmm. I remember. And then those. they did, yeah. Then they did the second one, which is uh, the, the gray and black, and then the they denim. did the bear prayer. Yeah, yep. And that's why I was like, I don't remember seeing those. Oh that's yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, these are awesome, right? So they brought the pink box the 3M back. One. They brought the pink box back. The pink box back. There the we go. Box back. I can't spit it out. <laughs> Got a lot of shoes, bro. Too many names. This is like a newer remake of the remake pigeon. Remake of uh, bringing the pink box back vibes. So it was like a panda pigeon or whatever, right? All right, so we got some more SBs on this side. We got some new stuff, some old stuff. We got to make it quick for them and just rattle off some of these kicks, show them what they got. So let's just start cracking some boxes open. Okay. That's right here. I mean, yo, Ooh. the Stussies, these went up like crazy. Yep. Everyone went, they jumped on these and when they started finding out about what these really are, right? then also the prices went up and then obviously Kylie Jenner wore it. Yeah. It went really crazy. Where'd she get those from? <laughs> oh, you know, Blitz X. <laughs> okay, so what else we got over here? Any other SBs? Oh, show them these ones real quick. The Day of the Dead. So these were only sold in Canada and Mexico. I and they weren't even that. going for that much, I feel like. No, they weren't at first. But and they were now people are... Dia de los Muertos. So yes, like it's no. celebrated in in uh, Mexico. You, you seen Coco? You seen Coco. the movie Coco? Nah. Bro, you gotta watch it, bro. Disney movie, kids movie. Fire. Really? Fire. It's about this? Yes. Yeah. Wow, okay, I didn't know it's that. It's fire, bro. For sure. Uh-oh. I got these on my feet. Oh, wait, hold on. These ain't the same ones. Yeah, this is the friends and family version. 
I'm not fancy, y'all. Sorry. Do you want to peep that out? <laughs> Definitely a clean shoe. You guys got a whole stack of those right here, right? Mm -hmm. That's the whole friends. So they got about 10 pairs of the friends and family. Now this is the LeBron era. Well, hold on. Let's, uh, well, what let's, else we let's got? with the Air Force. Oh, you got quick. some. Oh, okay. I mean, we see. got some. We got some major heat. Ooh. Tell them what it is. Oh, let's bring out the other side because yeah. this one has the left. The left side has a little bit of a oof. grill alert. The cause Air Force Ones. Look at that insole. Which I know Look at that, that outsole. Which I know about that. 2008. We're not talking about cause fours. Look at that. You see the on the uh, the little baseball stage. Yep. Yep. Show them this one. This is the ultimate grill of all grills. I got you on these. This right here is one of the best Air Force Ones ever. I don't care what nobody says. The PlayStation Air Force One. Obviously Sony PlayStation. I think this came out when the PS3 came out. Or was it when the PS2? No, I think that was the PS2. PS2. Yeah. Crazy. And they had different versions though. of it, but this is the actual original OG pair. What size is it? 13. That's a 13? Uh-oh. Oh! oh. We taking these home? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I think I got bronchitis for that. <laughs> taking a little off-white. These are in here for a reason. All right, so like, they I, went up big time. I went to Cowboys Con with Dre, and this all happened. I'll tell you guys my story if you guys haven't heard it before. They offered us the chance to get these. Remember Virgil walked by, yeah. and they're like, "You want to grab these for retail?" And I was like, "Nah, I think I want to get the undefeated Air Maxes." Cause remember they had the green ones yeah. coming out. Oh my. And then I was like, "I'll pass on these." And then I was gonna come back and grab them later. Kobe and Kendrick got there, mm -hmm. remember? And then they did mm -hmm. the thing, Air Force 100. And I was like, "You know what? I think I'm gonna grab them." They're like, "Man, it's too many people in line. We can't just let you cut. It's gonna yeah. look wrong." So I just like, "Oh, it's alright. I'll grab them later." Now they're like, eight bands. I'm like, "Bro, what is going on?" I literally could got these right? for retail. That's what happened. I messed up. Don't do it like your boy over here. Do not sleep. I messed up. It's okay though. We got dubs. We take a lot of dubs too. What else we got over here? Ooh, kick it old school one time. Air Force One. That was oh an all star game. I think that, that's a Denver all star game. Oh my gosh. Look at that leather. Denver all star. This is a PE. So they released, but without the lasering. Stash on there. Stash, legendary New York street artist, in his uh, you know blue tone colorways with the khaki. Did you did you love these when they, yeah. When they first popped? Yeah, no, up? yeah, those are fire. I like those. Did you came out? This was the era of the, the early 2000. Like, was that 2005? So, so, somewhere around yeah, that time. Yeah, this was. This and was, everybody had the air unit showing with the translucent midsoles. You had the Kobe ones. Yeah, had this, the, this is from Nitrade, which yeah. is a Japanese hip hop group. So Crazy. it's actually 3M, 3M uh, digi camo. I remember all the midsoles and the outsoles, like any premium Air Force One looked like these. Like I always remember that. That was definitely a vibe. That was a good time. You see anything else in here you want to pull out? Pause. Oh, there's always something. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was deep. That was deep. Oh, deep. My Pause. God. <laughs> <laughs> We're going downhill. <laughs> We're going downhill for real. Why is it every episode with you? It's always like this. I'm gonna just start. I can't even say. What am I gonna say? I'm gonna start bringing out <laughs> sneakers. Yeah, this fool is on one, bro. <laughs> Yo. Say, oh yeah, no. I'll let you go first because that's way better than what I was about to show. Entourage Air Force Ones. Such a fire shoe. Again. From the movie Entourage. Look at the leather. Look at the leather. Look at the laces. Everything. Sick, right? The lasering, lasering. The sock liner. You name it. The details are insane, bro. Insane. Got a little LeBron for him. Nike basketball was on fire. LeBron was dropping. I still got one. Well, was, was receiving bangers, but oh, is that the black and yellow? No, oh, this is the OG one. The OG? It is. So, oh, yeah, the box color. Back in 05, they made for the LA heads. Oh my God. For the Chicanos. You ain't even from LA, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> Born and raised. Mr. Cartoon. Famous street artist. Bruh. 
in the LA Dodgers colors with the lasering, and they did not release with the spider web on it. See that spider yeah. web on it? Is that a top? That's gangster. Right is there. that a top ten Air Force One right there? That's so hard. Top twenty at least. Definitely like, top twenty. I feel like we gotta put these in top. 20. I think it's top ten for me. It could potentially be top ten, especially it's for it's you. One of my top sentimental things. value. Yeah, that could I wear, potentially I wear be, a pair of these. I can guarantee. Yeah. Let me know in the comment section: Is this a top uh, ten or a top twenty Air Force One? If you don't know about them, do a little bit of googling. I'm telling you right now, legendary shoe right here. Definitely a legendary shoe. Man, I kind of want to look at some more forces now, bro. What else you got down here? Oh, dude, there's tons of gems. What else we got? Gonna have to start digging a little bit. Here, I'll pull another one that's gonna be. Oh, wow. Oh, bro. The Black Album. Well, you know what's even crazier than the Black Album? What? It's the 4040 oh Club. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jay Z's 4040 Club. Does it still exist in New York? Bro. These are really old. This very is, rare. Very okay, rare. so. Uh, when it came to Nike Air Force Ones, early 2000s, right? Mm -hmm. You had who? Jay Z. Mm -hmm. Who else we had? The Snowman. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, Terror Squad. Terror Squad. And then was, wasn't there a fourth person? Eminem. Nelly. Nelly got one. So that was kind of that era and that time mm -hmm. of those like mm -hmm. original Air Force Ones kind of coming on the scene, making PEs and stuff mm -hmm. like. And this is the type of stuff that we got. Crazy, crazy. Those were the collabs of those days. It wasn't just like one dude. It was it was yes. like many. And they was doing multiple colorways. This man got four pairs of the cost Air Force Ones. I just found two more in the bottom. And look at this. What, what you got? What's in that box? So these released only in Japan. Oh my god. These are top twenty. For yeah, me. those are definitely top twenty. Look at the packaging in here. The, you remember the Black History Month Air Force Ones that came like that? But the Wayno Sakura with the like pink for the cherry blossoms in Japan. Bro. And the laser Look cherry the blossoms details. on there. Oh my gosh. And the leather. Crazy. They lasered the Nike Air on the back. Mm hmm. Literally just perfection. Fire, right? This is crazy, bro. These went up. These are like a few thousand easy now. So when it comes to Air Force One, look at the box, like the interior. Oh yeah, you got the little straw in there, and then the the lasering on the on the inside of the box. Details. You said how much are these worth now? Several thousand now. Several. Several. Oh, you fancy. <laughs> oh, you fancy. So is this just like regular Gucci, or is these special? Bro, this is the sample. Oh, this the, is. This, yeah, this the frame. This is the different. Gucci Dunk. Damn. See the how, leather see how they're frayed too, more? Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad. It's hard to get anything in any other size. They were like literally all sample sizes. And that Fire. One. Fire. So how long you been rocking kicks and been into like really seriously collecting kicks? I mean, dude, ever since I was a little kid. I mean, I have pictures of me. I have like a picture of me in uh, first grade with the 85. It was first or second grade with the 85 uh, little Jumpman mesh jersey. Hell yeah. So, you know. Out here in these LA streets trying to get it. So, hey, that's, I got my little, my picture, my time capsule. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And that was so like, I what, was 70 it. years ago? Huh? That was like 70 years ago? Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was during the time that Jordan was actually playing. That's so, crazy. You know, but for you, me, that was, that was, that was amazing. You got you know? into SBs heavy, like from the get go. Oh yeah. You really fell in love with beginning. SBs. Talk yeah. about that because realistically, this is one of the OG SB gods right here. Like if you guys want to be so serious about the influence on the game and behind the scene, like this guy right here. So I'll let you guys let him speak about this one. All right. Thanks man. But uh, you know, like I said, we were talking about the Supas, the orange and all that before. Mm -hmm. Like, see the thing is, Nobody cared about dunks when we were, um, nobody cared about dunks when we were like, you know, wearing Jordans and Deion Sanders and right, all, right. all the athlete driven right. shoes. It was, that, that was mostly like an East Coast thing was like Air Force Ones, but no one really cared about dunks. That popped off in Japan. Mm -hmm. And that's why Japan started making crazy colors of those things back in like 2000. But just this simple shoe, like, you know, we all thought it was, it was junk. Yeah. Right. Yep. And then, you know, 
um, foot action started getting like white and navy, black, white, and all that stuff, and they were the only ones with it. Mm -hmm. And all the Japanese were, kept asking me for them, so I, the, I started delivering. Okay. They started trading me some of the crazy colors. And you're like, there. oh, I got those, no worries. Like, oh, these are actually kind of cool, just yeah. because of the crazy colors. Because mm -hmm. back then, you would only get white, red, white, navy, black, white, white, black, the college Carolina. Packs. Yeah, the basic. That's it. Yeah. Those, that's the whole palette for Foot Locker, Foot Action, and all that, and Nike Town and everything. Then all of a sudden in Japan you had green, yellow, white, and purple, white, and, yeah. and like yeah, you know the style out there is fire. They're always right? like ahead too. I and that all there. came into like the the SB realm, and then they you know came out with purple and different grays mm -hmm. and and neon colors and everything. So that mm -hmm. just kind of like sparked and created that whole uh, situation of where we're at today, you know. But yeah, it was crazy to be around there and say you were kind of the pioneer around that time and that in the beginning of like uh, Nike SB. Is and really then cool. now still coming full circle to these days now hitting, having players or athletes or, uh, you know, artists coming through trying to get these sneakers from you. You see them wear it and then it becomes like an influence on the game. And now you got all the people trying to wear their shoes. The cool thing is that, uh, you know, talking to a lot of the guys and they're li literally saying like, you know, they were kids when these came out mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, you know, some of, they couldn't afford them because you know, they couldn't run out. They couldn't get them from anywhere. Right, you right. Know, they were like small, wearing size eight or whatever, the, whatever the case. But you know, you know, to run out, like they didn't, they didn't have the the know how. Mm -hmm. But they did like it, and then and so now being able to where they're at, being able to go back and buy those pairs, you know, it's amazing. Right. And that's that's the cool thing. That's like me when I'm trying to find all the OG Jordans and things I used to like when I was. Right. You know, growing up too y'all saw that earlier in the episode the second episode i want to say we were looking at some og sevens olympics hairs different stuff like that if you guys haven't seen the first two episodes or three episodes i don't know what episode we on at this point but if you haven't seen those episodes make sure you go check them out i'll have the links for you guys down below in the description as well but let's, and make uh, sure you check out project bliss project bliss you already know let's uh let's cap it off with the with the lebrons and everything over here Nike basketball, what a great era. Well, here's a crazy one. So this is actually LeBron's personal pair, PE, size 16. Sheesh. LeBron 4. Fire. Metallic red on red leather. No one's ever seen these before. That's dope. I have, I, I couldn't, i never seen him wear it in a game or anything. Damn. Have you seen it? Maybe you got to research I mean, the only it. time i somebody seen him find here. <laughs> him wearing these? Yeah, I don't know. The only time I've seen him is here every time I've been, but mm -hmm. that's it. You got some... LeBron 7's up in here, Cavaliers vibes. I mean, you saw all the different uh, LeBrons that they're bringing back out again. They brought the Watcher Thrones out. Yep. Right? Yep. You know, show everybody, these are the OGs. So this is the original Watch the Throne, not the retro that we recently saw come out. At the time, people were going bananas for this shoe. Very, very limited sneakers. They never brought these back out though, oh, did they? Oh, man. Memories. The Dunkman Volts. The Dunkmans. This is a good time, bro. This is gonna be a lot of nostalgia for people. So they brought these back, but, but see, not the see elite how, version. Yeah, no, they brought this back like this. So you guys saw the big bangs that came back out. Oh wait, was it? Did they bring back the the, no, they the didn't nine do the, or the elite? They didn't do the elite version. Really? Yeah, so this is still you guys are probably gonna only see it like this. This is the elite version. This one's a little bit different. Um but yeah, they did release the Big Bangs again though. Mm. But not the Elite. Not the Elite, yep. That's a good thing. So he's got, oh, another good one right here. With the LeBron 10s. You got the with the LeBron 9s and everything too, right? You over here dropping stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These things are crazy, bro. So this was like during the time of like, what the Kobe's, what the KD's, what the LeBron's, da da da. But the what the SB's, I think was the one that, oh bro, another one. Another good memory right here. <coughs> denim LeBron 8. Remember the denim Rebuses? Mm -hmm. Oh man, these are so fire. Which ones do you like more? These or the Clark Kent LeBron 8? That's what I was actually pointing at right here. Where they at? Oh, let's get them. 112. Let's get them. That's another what the... I'll let you recycle oh, okay. those. Oh, that's a 127. It's a 127. Oh, the 7 is fire. Okay. I like these ones a lot. 112 7s. 
These things go crazy. The LeBron 7, I think low key might be my favorite model out of all the LeBrons. If not, it's for sure top three. If I think about it, I gotta think about it, but let me know, what's your favorite LeBron model? Let me know in the comments. What's your favorite LeBron model? Ooh, honestly. Um, That's a hard one, bro. Yeah, I really like the nine elites, but my favorite is the seven. The seven is fire. The I think it's because it's similar to like a, you know, the, the fours too. Kind of like a Jordan 11, you know? The Fruity Pebbles, but they're just really bulk, yeah. bulky. But yeah, the seven does. Oh, Jordan 11. Birthday pack. Out those eights, the 112 eight. All right, let me see which one is what you saw. Oh, yeah, those are one of my Bro. favorites. Okay, so we <laughs> just saw this recently retro, but this is the original PE. And um, as you can see right here, a lot more metallic y when it comes to the navy blue area, royal blue, whatever you want to call it, it has a sheen to it. These are way nicer than the GR that came out. I think it was kind of disrespectful how cheap the GR was recently on the retro. Another LeBron 7. The pennies. Yep. And then here it is. This right here, Grail. 112 LeBron 8. Elephant print on there. The neons. Look at the tongue. The microphone with the one with the 112. We need everybody getting back in uh, basketball shoes. Bro. You know what I mean? So fire. Like KD. So fire. Let me get by you. LeBron's, all that. KD4. Hey, mark my words. The KD4 is going to retro. He said we got to shut, shut, shut him down. shut him down with the bang right yep. here. Let's do it. New York, New York. Here we go. Those are very rare. These are. What size is this? Like Not a, your size, bro. This looks like a 13. Oh, it's a 12. Okay. Statue of Liberty. Elite LeBron 9. Those are the craziest, dude. Ultra rare. I don't even know how many pairs were made. That's on the these. best one. That's the ultimate right there. For it's me. like a minty, just with the gold speckle on the outsole trim. These were also, these were the, the red suede. Yes. These were crazy. These were going for like 11 G's at some at And that was like 10 years ago. Has it been that long? Well, maybe. Has it been that long already? Yeah. About 10 years ago. Yeah, I would say about 10 years ago. It's wow, been next year. It's 90. Crazy. crazy. Yeah, so but this tops it off. These are, yeah, these are definitely next level. I don't know if you guys are bringing back memories or seeing this for the first time. I don't know, but this right here was like one of the greatest when it came to, and it's got the MVP on there. Oh my gosh. This was one of the greatest LeBron nights out of that elite pack. I really did like that vault set. So that's gonna do it, you guys. We tried to get through all the shoes that we possibly could. It took us a while. If you guys want us to come back into the vault again later someday, I'm sure there's gonna be many more shoes in the future and we can do a whole nother round again and see what's up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys saw every single episode and watched all the videos because trust me, there were a ton of dimes and gems that were dropped or shown throughout this video. Millions of dollars worth of sneakers. We're out here at Project Blitz right now in the crazy, crazy vault. And again, make sure you check out their website, all their social medias, everything. I'll have that link for you guys down below in the description. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.